Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel. We are back here at Metro East Community Media. Happy to introduce my guest tonight as Jillian Ruhani, who is an attorney with the Catholic Charities Immigration and Legal Services. Thanks for being Hi. here, Jillian. Sure, thanks for having me. Sure. Now, um, first of all, you're, you're an attorney. Mm -hmm. You're working for Catholic Charities. Tell me, before we get into exactly what you do, just a, a little bit about Catholic Charities and what they do in this in this community. Sure, um, Catholic Charities is the social service agency of the Archdiocese of Portland, and we have a range of social service programs that serve Portland and Gresham and the whole state of Oregon. So, um, I work for the Immigration Legal Services Program, which is here in one Portland. of the programs mm -hmm. in the Catholic uh, Charities. Okay, so the Immigration and Legal Services. What exactly? What exactly do you do? What, what's the main focus of, of that, that part of, the, of Catholic Charities? Uh, we do family-based immigration, so uh, people that want to apply f to have to bring their family members, spouses here um, legally as residents, or um, and we sorry, <laughs> That's right. and um, we also do a lot of the DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. Right, we had that yeah. on, on our show mm -hmm. just recently. So. Okay. More often than not, you're dealing with the, uh, the Spanish-speaking community, is right. that right? Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's probably the biggest biggest group that's immigrating here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a um, a large part of our program is funded by a federal grant from the Department of Justice um, okay. on the Office of Violence Against Women, and we work all over the state um, serving victims of domestic violence. And m many of our clients are. Um, Latino, Spanish speaking. So there's a, um, a program that you use, or there's something you specifically work with called the U visa. And Correct. Tell, tell, tell us what the U visa is and, and what that's all about. The U visa is um, temporary lawful status. It's a non-immigrant visa, so people that are here undocumented can apply for the U visa. And to, to qualify, you have to be um, a victim of a crime and have been helpful to law enforcement or the law enforcement agency or district attorney's office in investigating or prosecuting the crime, and and then you get a, a mm. okay. So let me to make sure I understand. Mm -hmm. So I say I lived in Mexico. I came up here with my family mm -hmm. maybe a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So I don't have. I'm not a citizen of right. the United States. But somewhere along the line, I was a victim of a crime. Mm -hmm. And in order t for that crime to be prosecuted, the um, authorities need my testimony perhaps uh, or cooperation it, yes correct it could be um, that you've been cooperative with the police giving them a report calling the police or even more so the district attorney calls you to testify and you go testify against the person who perpetrated a crime against you and and that's considered being helpful to a law enforcement agency but often if somebody is here illegally they're they're undocumented mm -hmm they're going to be afraid to come Correct. forward and do that. Is right. that right? Yeah. I, mean, I would think that probably happens all the time. Mm -hmm. The U visa is going to help them with that? What, how does that work then? Right, well, um, really specifically people that are here undocumented may have a, a great fear of calling the police or sure. going into a courthouse. They're afraid they're going to be deported mm -hmm. or, or jailed or both. Right, exactly. And um, this visa, or well, this um, program it, it works to allow people to come forward without that fear that they will be deported. Okay. Um, so, and it also helps our communities in that people are reporting crimes and being cooperative and going to testify, and that way people who've committed crimes will be resp held responsible for them and can... And they can move yeah. forward then. Mm -hmm. So the, the U visa will give them um, a visa for how long of a period of time? How long is that good um, for? It's a four-year non-immigrant status, so it gives you permission to live in the United States and work here for four years. Okay. And then after three years, the person can apply for their permanent residency to get a green card. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So, how do people find out about that? If 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 I were, you know, if I were in that situation, and I were a victim of, of domestic violence or some kind of a crime or something mm -hmm. like that, and I wanted to call the police, and how, how do people know that that that's an option available to them? Right. Well, a lot of people now, it's kind of um, people are hearing about it from family members who word of mouth. Word of mouth, and then we we work with Catholic Charities works with uh, domestic violence and social service agencies across the mm -hmm. state. We get a clients that way um, okay, so. that are referred to us, and oftentimes the district attorney's office will say you. It's possible you qualify for a U visa, and people will come to us that way to find right. out. Uh, 
Give me, give me an example, if you can, without obviously naming names of maybe some situations that uh, people have been in where they have been able to get the U visa mm -hmm. and, and how that's worked out. Well, um, I spoke with a woman, I did a consultation with a woman who lives in a small town and she had been sexually assaulted and came forward, call, called the police, made a report and um, she qualifies for the U visa and, and more importantly after that seven other victims came forward to say that this of the same of the same uh, that, that had been assaulted by the same man and their you know well-known figure in their community and that gave them the courage to come forward so you can see how it helps people directly but it also helps everybody sure absolutely yeah that's a, a huge boon to the community mm -hmm. right there because um, that would be a scary thing yeah I think definitely so is there um, when when somebody is is here and is um, undocumented mm -hmm. and they have other questions say say aside from the U visa mm -hmm. Catholic Charity has attorneys such as yourself that can help them out yeah we do uh, we have consultations with people where we go over their entire history of when they arrived and um, sometimes people have status that they don't know about maybe they're a resident and some cause as a child somebody applied for them or something but oh. we do a full consultation to see what options are available to them maybe it's the U visa it could be something else and then they go from there. What, what's important for people to know that uh, people that are here um, that are not here legally and they need to get, they want to get some legal advice, what, what are some important things for them to know? Because I imagine there are people out there that will give them advice that is not good. Yeah, definitely. It's very important to make sure um, you find somebody who's qualified to give you advice such as an accredited nonprofit such as Catholic Charities mm, okay. or a private immigration attorney who has experience doing um, these types of cases because there's a lot of bad advice out there. Yeah, I mean, imagine if you have somebody mm -hmm. that basically is, um, you know, uh, only works with, um, you know, hit and run car accidents yes. or something, right. maybe they won't have any experience. Mm -hmm. in. And language can yeah. be a barrier too. Sure, sometimes. sure. So at, at Catholic Charities you have plenty of Spanish speaking mm -hmm. help and, we all speak and some Spanish. other, pardon? Yeah, we all speak Spanish in we our office. We're fully well, bilingual that's office. Great. And so a couple other languages too. We uh, we speak Vietnamese and Farsi in our office great, as well. Great. So, um, what what else do you think um, people should know about the U visa or about the services that Catholic Charities offers through your legal immigration services? Uh, well, the, I, it's important for people to know that this exists and. There is help for victims of crime. Specifically, we do a lot of um, work with victims of domestic violence. Mm -hmm. And um, the work we do at Catholic Charities, we think it's really important because of the obvious link to um, being undocumented and poverty and just kind of trying to break that, that cycle of violence and for people right. to be able to move forward. And right. So if people are interested, they can go to your website? To they can go to our website. It's catholiccharitiesoregon.org. Mm -hmm. um, or they can call our office. We do. Uh, we have a call-in day the first Tuesday of every month at 9 o'clock. They can call in to schedule a consultation with us. Oh, okay. Can, do you know what some of the other services are that Catholic Charities offers? But we have, yeah, we have um, a program. There's a program called Pregnancy, pregnancy Support. Uh, for pregnant women who may need support. Mm -hmm. We have a housing transitions program for homeless people. Mm -hmm. We have a refugee resettlement program that does a lot of great work in our community I with the new, that's a big newly program. arrived refugees. Mm -hmm. uh, refugees from all over the world? All over. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I have any idea how many different uh, groups I, I'm you sorry, I don't. I, I didn't expect you yeah. were. That's not your area, yeah. but I bet that, yeah. I mean, in Portland alone, I know out in the Reynolds School mm -hmm. District, they have like, Seventy different languages spoken yeah. in their school alone. Mm -hmm. I just can't even imagine how hard so. that would be for people to come here and try to assimilate into the community mm -hmm. with, <laughs> yeah. with you don't speak the language. We also have a great program that works a lot in Gresham, El Programa Hispano mm -hmm. and Unica. Yeah. Yes, I'm familiar with them, and they do terrific work. Yeah. 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 They do a lot of work. Yeah. We actually had some of the kids out here um, that were brought from El Programa Hispano and did the um, little. Uh, Camp with them. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that no, was great. Mm. It, tell me anything else that we need to know before I let you go here, before we run out of time, Julian. U visa is just the letter U. It's the letter U. Okay, yeah. so we can check it out online. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, Thank and you. I appreciate you taking the time. This is Monica Weitzel. We're at Metro East Community Media. You've been watching Community Hotline. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.